Hello and we welcome you here to this week's edition of Swan News. We start with the Summersworth Toppers taking the championship win this past Saturday. We also interviewed a CTC student about the Career Tech program and a shocking expose in the student walkout. It all happens next here on Swen News. You're watching Swen News Today with Oliver Drew. I'm Oliver Drew. Boys basketball hit the road to Exeter this past Friday as they played Berlin, bringing them a 53-41 win. Fast forward to Saturday at SNHU, they never backed down, bringing them and Summersworth a 53-38 win. We found some of the players and fans to tell us what this experience was like. My name is Brian Early. What really changed your mind like during the halftime? Because you guys came in with passion and aggression. Yeah. Um, that's what it was. We was real passionate. We realized it's a championship game. It's my last high school game ever. So, and for the little, for the freshman, sophomore, I had to give them a ring. I had to bring it home, you know? You don't want to end up on the championship, go that far, and lose it. So, you needed to win that. I said this I said this that night. At the beginning, I thought we was going to win it. I had no doubt we was going to win it. But towards the end, when we was down, right after Tyler hit that third quarter buzzer beat in the corner, that, that's when I knew. I was like, there's no way we can, can lose this one. So, Do you remember how the crowd reacted? Did you ever look at the crowd? I looked at, no, I said, Tyler threw it. He shot that. I looked right at Tyler. I knew he was hitting it. I looked at the crowd. Everybody jumped up. It was crazy. It was for real like a movie when I say that. I mean, that is a really mood. I was at the game. It was a lot of fun. There was high energy. People were chanting, clapping. I went to both games over, uh, you know, Friday and Saturday, and I'll tell you what, uh, the boys are deserving. They're scrappy. They did great. And the, the backing of the crowd, the backing of the student body was something to be really behold. They got behind the team. They uh, cheered against the other team. I think they were louder than the other team, and it was great. A great effort by the kids on the floor and a great, great support by the community as well as the student body. Loved every minute of it. This past Thursday, students from Dover and Summersworth High School walked out to protest guns and the lives lost in Florida. We talked to Solomon of Dover High School on what these protests meant to him. My name is Solomon Bixby. Um, I'm just a junior here and I realized that there were people just like me killed last month at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. And they deserve to be remembered. I was the one speaking here today because I thought that I could do a decent job. So roughly around 100 students participated. What do you think that shows about Dover High School? I think it shows that Dover High School is really able to empathize with students across the whole country and that it's time that things changed. Enough is enough. It's time that our elected officials make sure that this sort of thing can't happen anymore. And finally, we interviewed Abby, a CTC student, on the benefits of a career tech program. Building trades is very hands-on, and a lot of the stuff that we're learning now, I had no idea. Like, the different types of screws, the different types of drill bits, it's all, I would have no idea, but now I have a general knowledge of how to use them and what they're used for. And I feel like that's not just gonna help me like in the future, but it's gonna help me now. Like if there's something broken at home, like I can fix it. Um, but overall the class is, as I said, very hands-on and it prepares you for your, the future. It, we have books that have good um, employment skills, like how to get a proper job in the construction business. And it, this class will look very good, like going to college, like an architectural college, that's gonna be huge for getting into that school. I think it's a very different approach because most classes now, they're all book work and you take these notes and you do that. But kids nowadays, they need to have hands-on stuff to actually learn the material. And I feel like being in a class like this helps so much because it sticks in your brain a lot more. 
like just the way that the curriculum is and how we do projects once a week and it's very it's very different than an academic like a more academic like book based class especially with Mr. Chick he's very he's I don't know the word but he's a very excited person so like he'll we'll have an idea one day and then he'll improve it the next day and he'll have a full agenda for us that week and then he'll change it the next week. So um, it's, a, it's a very interesting class to say the least and I feel like it's mostly a male dominated area of expertise so I want to change that. All, all of the, my classmates are so welcoming. I'm pretty much one of the guys at the moment. Um, I, I feel like it's, I try and do my best. I tell people they should join the class. It's, it's very fun. Like people think it's all, oh, we're gonna build this today. But it, we do, like we have fun. It's a very fun class. Um, so when I'm older, I wanna be an interior designer. And I feel like this class just, like will be the turning point in how I'm going to be learning because most interior designers don't get the chance to work hands-on. Oh, they design the place, but they don't actually build the furniture or any of that. They don't design the layout. But now I have the ability to do that. So I feel like it's going to be more desirable when I'm older for either colleges or employment chances and just that in general. Join Building Trades. <laughs> It's a very fun class. More girls, too. That concludes today's episode. We thank you for watching Swen News. And always, always remember to eat your drink.